I'm about to show you the most dominant defense for Bunch. This defense literally kills Gun Bunch in this game. It is the best defense. If you ever see someone that's running Bunch or even a formation that's just similar to Gun Bunch, this is the defense that you should be in. If you want to get my entire defensive ebook on this defense, make sure that you become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to do so. It gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates, which we've been dropping a ton of updates for our Patreon members this week. So if you're not a member yet, you can sign up down in the description. And again, it's only $10 to do so. So how do we stop Gun Bunch? And I think the best bunch this year, at least from a passing perspective, uh, it comes to us out of the Colts playbook uh, because as bunch trailed, as verticals, as this PA read play, that is like just a really solid uh, passing concept. It's got mesh posts, it's got run game, right? It's got a lot of different things that they can do. Uh, so we're gonna show this to you uh, against that uh, formation. Now, from a coaching adjustments perspective, real quick, go ahead and make sure that your auto alignment is set to base. Uh, you can leave your auto flip on or off. It's up to you. And that's really it. The only thing, um, if you ever want to stop like a wheel route, like let's say you want to stop like the verticals wheel route, you can put the, your curl flats at zero and they will play these um, these wheel routes really, really well. So we're going to put our curl flats to zero, especially when defending bunch. Um, you don't have to do that. There are situations where you might not want to do that. Uh, but that's as a foundation, as a basic defense, anyone can pick this defense up and play it against bunch and have success. This is the best defense. Okay. So uh, it's actually not DB fire two. Um, but we are going to come out in DB fire two. Okay. We're going to audible down to spinner when we come out in DB fire two. Why? Because we want the pre-snap look of DB fire two. And what you're going to notice when we get this, when we come out on the field in DB fire two, you're going to notice that the left side slot corner is going to run down, um, as if he was in DB fire two in, then we're going to audible to spinner. Now, as soon as we audible, notice that nobody moves. So when we audible to this play, what I like to suggest to people is to individually back off both of your outside corners and then press your defense. As you can see right here, this is going to uh, just kind of give us a little bit more of a pre-snap disguise uh, in terms of how we want to play. And then you can bring these safeties down if you want to. You don't necessarily have to. You don't necessarily have to, okay? Especially for this specific version of the defense. Now from there, what I like to do is QB contain, and I'm gonna walk this guy in off of the edge, and then you can unbase line, spread your line, crash down, whatever you wanna do. And then from there, what we're gonna do is we're going to take the linebacker on the right side of the screen, and we're gonna put him in that zero yard curl flat. That's gonna help us play any kind of quick throw to that bunch side. We're going to then take the safety, and we're gonna cross man him on the tight end. That's gonna do a decent job of defending the trail route, as well as the vertical uh, snap throw wheel. And then on this left side, we're just going to play a um, outside third zone, and we're going to use the running back. So if the running back stays in the block, then we can lurk anyone. If the running back goes on like a wheel route, for example, maybe they run a concept like this over here on the right, and they have a C route, right? If the running back goes to the flat, we're going with him. So you'll see right here, this blitz just absolutely screams at bunch, and that's what makes it so good. Now, another thing that I forgot to mention is when you audible to spinner, if you're not base aligned, um, you can create this loop concept over here on the right. It's primarily if you're not base aligned. The other thing is if you're not base aligned, they will already have that man up over there on the left side. And what you'll see now is you just want to back off that outside player on the on that side. And then on the back side of this, what I would recommend is go ahead and put this guy in a third. Honestly, you can run the four man blitz. So if you ever want to just like take the running back away, we'll man the running back up and we'll just run this loop. And you see, it's probably the it's probably the best blitz in the entire game. Um, and it's, it's really, really good specifically against bunch. I can't stress that enough. So again, um, you just want to audible to spinner, spread your line, QB contain. You don't want to crash it. I forgot about this blitzing over here. I talked about another video I did on this. Um, and then what I would do is unbase the line and then you can press and then you can um, you can back these guys off. I don't think you really need to press, but you do want to re-blitz that left side guy. And then I would say to drop that zero yard curl flat to the tight end side. Now, if you don't think that that curl flat really has that much value, then another adjustment that I really like to do, if they ever are throwing the running back a lot, man that tight end up with that linebacker. And then on the left side, you're going to man up that safety onto the solo receiver and then you're going to man that uh solo wide receiver side corner you're going to man him up on the running back so let's say that they're running like a, a bunch trail type concept maybe it looks something like this okay 
that scissor adjustment is going to take away both routes on the left side of the screen. Your user, you have nothing to do over here on the left. You are sprinting over here to the right side to try to get in charge, get in front of the trail route. So I want to get over in this area. The blitz is going to come in. By the time the blitz comes in, there's really not a lot open. Now, if you don't want to have to manually move people, I hope you stuck around at this point in the video because there's another way to run this and still get really good pressure, but not have to manually move anybody. All right. The best thing that I know how to do is we're going to audible down to spinner we're going to press and then we're going to back off both of our outside corners and then from there um all we're going to do is we're going to uh, still scissor that left side and then we're going to man up that tight end and then the last adjustment is to just crash your line down just like this i'm going to stand about right here because i don't want to have to use or the running back i don't think that, that i think it's 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 too easy to stop the running back with a scissor adjustment and what this does is, I mean, there's just not a lot open. And this allows me to put a lot more resources into defending any kind of corner route over here on the right. And you see, because these safeties are backed off, the backed off man coverage really helps uh, to counter this. Now, I talked about verticals real quick. I wanna show you uh, kind of what's going on against verticals. So let's say that you run the defense like this and you just press it they can literally off the snap just throw this wheel route they can break a tackle and you see i'm getting about 20 30 yards right that's a really dangerous thing and it's one of the better things in the formation this year so what we want to do this is why we want to back these guys off on the outside and then you can drop a zero yard purple or you can just man him up and the other thing that i forgot to talk about is i'll show you something here on the left side real quick but if you watch this verticals route over here on the right just watch this real quick. He's gonna run down on it. He'll pick it off. He'll literally take the route away and you don't have to shade underneath to stop it, uh, which is a which is a huge thing. Now, the other thing I forgot to talk about is if you're ever worried about like, let's say like a skinny post over the middle, uh, maybe like trying, maybe, you know, you're worried that they're splitting your cover two or you might worry about stuff like that. Another thing that you can do against bunch um, is you, everything is exactly the same, except this time what we're going to do on the left side is we're going to outside third, that left side corner, and then we are going to leave the running back manned up, okay? And what's gonna happen is if they block the running back, which they pretty much have to do that uh, to take this away, like they have to block the running back to take away the blitz. Now, if you watch how this plays and how this is gonna react to that post route, that uh, player is gonna literally act and serve like a middle third defender in the middle of the field. Now, it's still somehow able to put it in the middle of the field, but he becomes essentially a middle third defender for you. So that's another really nice tip. Now, last but not least, another little key tip to make your scissor adjustment even better is to do something like this right here where we back off just the bunch side corner and we're going to leave the uh, solo wide receiver side corner pressed up and then when you have this bracket right here it's really really helpful now another quick tip that i would recommend is sometimes it's better to put him in a hard flat or to put him in an outside third as opposed to manning up the running back because the running back especially if they're blocking the running back a lot we don't need to have that running back manned up a hard flat is really helpful and a hard flat is really helpful for stopping a play such as pa Reed where they're going to try to block this blitz this hard flat will do a really good job at defending um this hard flat will do a really good job at defending the drag route to the tight end so i can work from the crosser to the slant so what i would want to do is i want to kind of peek here and then i want to get down in here and i want to trust that deep route knockout that's running with that crosser across the middle of the field Guys, this is, the, this is the best bunch defense in the game. It really does slow down uh, what has been the best offense in Madden literally for the last, as long as I've been playing. For the last 10 to 12 years, bunch has been one of the preliminary top potent offenses in the game. And in this year's game, EA finally put a defense in there that is actually really, really effective for slowing this formation down. If you want to learn how to take this defense and utilize it to shut down other top offenses like tight or tight offset or tight slots, make sure that you become a Patreon member. It's only $10 to do so. And I guarantee you're going to become a better Madden player because we're not just going to teach you concepts that apply in this year's game, but these eBooks, a lot of them are actually going to be able to be utilized no matter what year of Madden you're playing because we're trying to teach you guys some principles that can cross apply year to year uh, to make you a better Madden player. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and go join the Patreon at the link down below.